First one I asked you about the punt returns, uh, you know, asked Harris a little bit about it. You know, I think the old logic was if it goes inside the 10, don't fair catch it. And it seems like it's maybe changed a bit. Why, why has, what prompted that maybe a little bit? Well, I think, A, you know, the, when that rule was set, 90% of the games were on AstroTurf. We, we don't even have that anymore. So uh, that obviously had something to do with it. But also just the, you know, punters are good at killing the ball in, in front of uh, – in front of everybody and they're hanging it up higher so guys are standing there but most of those guys are using the Aussie punt now and think kicks and it bounces back or sideways so it's really a choice of at the you know three or four line yard line if you let it go you're going to get it at the three or the one most of the time or you can catch it at the at the five you know and at least you don't have to get into your backed up thinking on offense so so yeah obviously because you're saying like because if you let it go it, it's not always going to just bounce out of the uh, back of the end. No, zone. When we did a study a while ago. It's it's like seventy five or eighty percent don't go into the end zone. Mm -hmm. So you're really losing yards there. And we'd rather have the ball at the six, seven, eight, you know, any day over the two. I mean that that changes our offense. So we're we're good there. And I think if you watch just football in general, I know a lot of commentators still follow that rule because somebody told them that when they were like, you know, however many years ago. But, you know, just watch football. I mean, how many NFL guys do you ever see let the ball go inside the – between the five and the ten anymore? I, I think that's about none. So we always hope we see teams that do because we know we got a pretty good chance to down it way inside the five and really put our defense in a good spot. With the – you know, you put set in there, you returned punts last week. I mean, do you, do you want to continue that? Do you, do you put Killian back in there? And I know he's, he's had, a, you know, a couple tough ones in there. Yeah, so. yeah. You know, I mean, it just – Felt like it was time to give Set a chance, and he went out there and made the most of it. Did a really nice job for us. So, yeah, will we continue to do that? Absolutely. But have we given up on Achille? Not at all. I mean, we expect to see him back there. Certainly at some point. Uh, could be the first one this week. Could be, you know, later. Shoot, who knows? With AK, I mean, like, punt returning is one of those things that maybe is a little – uh, undervalued, I guess. Maybe it looks a little easier than it than it is. It seems like it seems like maybe at, at times it, it was just in its head a little bit, whether to run up and catch a ball or to let it bounce or kind of what. Yeah, absolutely. There. I mean, it, you got to be a great decision maker first and foremost because you got to decide, hey, can I go get that thing or do I need to get my teammates away? Is it returnable? Do I need to fair catch it? Uh, all those things. So you got to be a great decision maker, and then you got to have courage and confidence. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I don't. I think Achilles. Courage is unquestioned, but I mean, he took that was a big hit. But right now, he's just we're trying to get his confidence back, and I expect him to get that back and be a big playmaker for us. We mentioned said, I mean, he immediately touches it and picks up 17, and it was by far the longest power yeah. turn of the year. How, how nice was that to see? It was awesome, it was great, it was well blocked for him, and he did a great job of really attacking the return. And uh, you know, I mean, you look at all the plays the guy makes all over the place, it's not overly surprising that he did that. I don't want to call that an easy touch or anything, but is that a way to potentially just get him another touch? Yeah, it's certainly a way to get him a touch. Um, you know, the hard thing is right now, it's just how many of them are really returnable? I mean, that's kind of what you're, what you're trying to figure mm -hmm. out. Uh, you know, if you get a guy that maybe he's only averaging 38 yards a punt or something, but you look and all his hang times are four, five, four, six, well, I mean, that's, you know, less than a 40 yard dash and you got two seconds from snap to kick and then 4.5 or 6 seconds. I mean, it doesn't take that long to get 40 yards, you know, so you figure a guy's probably standing right there when he catches it. Um, so that's that's a big big factor in deciding, you know, is it is it uh, going to be a return opportunity or not. When uh, the, that first Fiesta Bowl team's coming back and obviously, you know, a ton of those guys and stuff like that, do you remember – any memories of, of seeing that that game for the first time? Oh yeah, I, I, I was watching the game. Uh, you know, we had a, a big crew of guys that had been here uh, at Colorado. We were all together watching the game, and shoot, we were cheering like crazy. And uh, yeah, I remember most of the game. It was it was awesome. How much does that that does that one game maybe just change things here? Because you were a guy here, that was here before it, and then you've been here you were here after it. I mean, how much did that just change? Well, I think it, it just gave credibility to Boise State. You know, finish an undefeated season. It, it beat Oklahoma, which is obviously a traditional football powerhouse. Um, shoot, Adrian Peterson. You know, I mean, all that stuff. I think it just gave tremendous credibility to the program. And you know, hats off to all the guys that were a part of that.